Hello, good people. Hello. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Thursday, July 13th, 2017. We literally are midway through the month of July. So I'm hoping that you are still plotting out the remainder of the year in the five areas. Um, hey, Margaret in the five areas for the five months and if that doesn't ring a bell you don't have a clue of what I'm talking about you can go back and um, find the YouTube on all these are on YouTube by the way for those who are not into Facebook live but you still want to share they're on YouTube so um, I think it was dated July 1st or the very end of June one of the two but I wanted to talk about something because I saw um, a newsletter written by someone I met when I was traveling with my daughter in Africa Kenya in particular I entitled this perspective you know it doesn't take a lot because it doesn't I want to tell you very quickly about someone who saw a need this this phenomenal public school teacher from Chicago Brett um, Mr. Brett he was over in Kenya in a small village in Dago that my daughter and I happened to be um, visiting at the same time and and we were not in the city we were not in Nairobi we were in with um, the wonderful people of Dago and living with them and uh, doing what they do and and so we were um, working with the school children and and in the orphanage and I have to say this that um, some of the most wonderful people just faith-filled and loving and kind and generous with the little that they had and everything is relative everything is relative and so it's it was little if you were a westerner and kept a western mindset um but they the generosity was just over abundant but extreme poverty and brett especially probably because he came from that uh educator's background he wanted to do something in in, in kenya you have the first eight grades that the you know the government will provide um, schooling for grades kindergarten through eighth grade or first grade through eighth grade after that you have to have a scholarship to pay for high school so here's here's the spectacular part is what I'm trying to tell you sometimes when we see things that hit our heart and touch our gut and say oh my goodness somebody should be doing something somebody should be doing something I happen to believe that if if something grabs our attention grabs our heart grabs our gut we are the somebody <laughs> we are the somebody who should be doing something and too often we allow things to get so big and overwhelming to us like oh my goodness I could never make a dent it's just so much and it overwhelms us and we you know do like a meltdown and instead of doing a little something we do nothing because it's just too overwhelming okay so we need to stop that because if if the unction and the the stirring in your soul the rumbling in your gut hits you that is an indication from God that hello I'm bothering you you see the sister right beside you see you see that brother down the street they're not worried about it you are concerned about it you're bothered by it you're up at night you're oh you're weeping and okay that's on you hi Dumbi. that you're bothered by that because you are the somebody somebody should do something you're the somebody who needs to do something about it so I, I say that because here Mr. Brett is a public school teacher so you know doing phenomenal life impacting work but they ain't getting paid a whole lot not a tremendous amount and so and yet I think the scholarship 
fund now is five years old. They have sent, oh, I hope I'm not messing up the numbers, but I believe they have sent 36, 36 lives have been changed because he raised money. He, he heightened awareness to people who would, who are, are like minded and it doesn't take much. 36 children now have been guaranteed four years of high school. Not the little, okay, we're going to get you started and hope to raise the rest of the money for the rest of the school years. No, they raise money, only $3,100. And I say only because in Western standards, $3,100 for boarding, four years of boarding school. That's how they do it in Kenya with the boarding schools. And so it covers tuition and fees and books and everything. But 36 lives have been changed and not just the individual the families of those 36 students that know they get to go to high school you see i'm a little excited about this because i don't think there's too much too many greater things that we can do that outside of changing a life changing i'm talking entire lives have been changed because he didn't let the rumble in his gut go ignored he chose to say what can i do what what can I do? I, they're brilliant kids. They're hardworking kids. It's not their fault that they were born into poverty. Exponential impact for generations. Danita, you are on the money. Because again, it's not just the person. Their families, and I will go on to say that the entire village of Dago is impacted. Now we're having the other villagers put more emphasis on school. The one school that they have there, Dago, Dago Dalahera, a place of love is what it means. And, and so everybody gets ignited when one person, it just takes one. And so often we allow the enormity of something to overwhelm us and turn us back into nothing. You know, we just come to a standstill. We almost get into the fetal position because we're overwhelmed. Fight through that. Chunk it up into look. What can I do? What can I do to help one of these kids? Okay, I know people. I know kids. With, okay, so get the creative juices flowing because it doesn't take much. You don't have to be a millionaire. Well, if I had all that money, stop that right there. That excuses be gone. I told you I was reading. Knock that off. Stop that right there because that is an excuse to keep you shackled and settled into doing nothing, okay? But your gut will continue to rumble. Your heart will still continue to be aching. Again, that sister down the street, she ain't even thinking about them. That brother that you just work with every, every two weeks, you come back and you've got all this excitement. And he is like, oh yeah, that's nice. As he goes on about his business. That's because you are the somebody who is meant to do something with this. So everything that bothers you should not be an irritant. It should be an indication. Maybe I should be doing something about that. I'm the only one that's bothered by that. But that really bothers me. And I think I can do a little something. I can do something about that. I can make it better. I can make it stronger. I can give them a different perspective that will open up. Okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My point is pay attention to the rumbles in your gut. Pay attention when your heart will not stop aching. And then don't get overwhelmed by it. Be the change you want to see in this world. That's right, Lily. You are so right, Miss Lily. Lily is doing that. Lily is enlightening and enlarging our um, understanding of educators and the role that leadership and educators play in this world. She has a podcast that she, Master Leadership 360. Go pull it up. Okay, so, so that's, the, that's the thing. We don't have to allow the, the trick that, well, you need more money to get started and you need more help to get started and you need more resources to get started. And you, no, you don't. All you need is a rumble. The rumble in your gut that refuses to loose you, 
refuses to let you go on about your business, refuses to let you just, you know, forget it, excuse it, justify it, and keep it moving, that's all you need to get started. The rest will come. The rest will come. Again, all these lives have been changed. I cannot wait to see. Okay, so 36 have gotten into high schools and two already now are in university. Entire trajectories have changed because one person refused to ignore the rumble in his gut. He refused. So please listen, pay attention. The other perspective on Tuesday was think about what you're thinking about. Pay attention to what bothers you, to what grieves you. You're the person. Somebody needs to do something. You're the somebody. Okay. Alrighty. That's it for me. Pay attention. And uh, until then, take real good care of yourselves.